What's going on guys, Waco here at the Tudor Booth in Geneva. And how exciting is that for me to say at the Tudor Booth in Geneva, where it's the home of Rolex and Tudor. So guys, this is the watch that everyone's been talking about. Black Bay Pro, 39 mm in diameter, and it is their new GMT watch, but what a GMT watch. And I don't know if you guys love vintage Rolex, you'll of course be familiar with the 1655 Explorer II. Uh, and look at that code that you see there on the bezel, right? The orange hand. You see all of these wonderful vintage cues, but in a watch that's incredibly pragmatic, right? So one of the things I didn't like about the Explorer II 1655 was that the, the dial was actually really confusing to read, right? You have a marker every 2.5 minutes, but here you've got a black Bay dial with full, super like a visible loom. I'm gonna put it right here so Monster can get him nice and tight on it. And what an incredible value as well at 3,800 Swiss francs with the bracelet or 3,500 Swiss francs if you're gonna get the calf, which incidentally guys, just get the bracelet. For 300 Swiss francs more, what are you thinking? You know what I mean? Watch is incredible on the wrist. I'm gonna show it to you in a second um, after Mun does his little, his little work on there. We good? So. And what I love about Tudor, and you know, really Tudor is a pioneer in this, is like they really get all the vintage codes, but they make watches that are so easy to live with and incredibly like robust, right? That size is just absolutely perfect and one of the best values in the market. So stunning. So we're gonna go from the Black Bay Pro to the new Black Bay GMT, S and G, which means steel and gold. Right, although of course I'm gonna call it the root beer because if you look at it, it's got a bezel that's got those kind of root beer colored codes to it. Um, 41 mm, absolutely stunning though, look at that, all right? And then the first two links are in actual gold and the rest of the links are actually gold with a steel core, which makes it a really affordable in terms of price point, right? I'm gonna put that on my wrist, just to show that to you. Great watch. And then we're gonna go from there to the Black Bay Chrono with the champagne dial. And you know, you guys know I love champagne dials. I've got a vintage 6265 with a champagne dial on it. Um, also SNG, also steel and gold. Also with the gold links, the first two are real and after that it's steel inside of these gold links, making it an incredible value. Incidentally, uh, great vertical clutch, column wheel movement in there. And then from there, let's go to the Black Bay 31. Also SNG, steel and gold. Um, which I love, which is like a 31 mm lady size watch, uh, which I think is super great, right? And incidentally, this watch has a 20 mm uh, movement in there, which is uh, passing their chronometer certification of minus three plus five, right? So there you go. Here at Tudor, I'm gonna put this back on my wrist because I love the Black Bay Pro so much. Best value around right now and one of the most handsome GMT watches in the world. Peace, guys.